Hello, this is Brad Niemeyer with Brad's Welding Shop. We have a lot of people that are always asking us what the difference between our Hayliner trailers and all of our competitors are. So we thought we'd make a quick video just to kind of walk you through and show you what the difference is. First off, right here on the neck, we use a four x 12 tube, not a four x 10. It's quarter inch wall, two inches more height to give it more stiffness while you're hauling your hay. Our trailers also come standard with breakaway kits. So they're DOT compliant. We use a 12,500 pound capacity dual pin jack. Most of your other trailers are gonna have a single pin and they're only rated 10,000 pound lift capacity. Biggest thing we wanna tell you is we do not use secondary material in any of our trailers. Our main pipe, the backbone of the trailer, is an eight inch schedule 40 pipe, true schedule 40, which is a 322 wall. We go all the way up to a 352 wall if we can get it bought right. A lot of other people are telling you, you know, there's a 3 8 wall pipe. There's really no such thing as a 3 8 wall pipe. It's going to be a schedule 40 or that 352 wall. Biggest thing is our trailer is not spliced anywhere. You'll see in a lot of our competitors trailers where they might take two or three pieces of this pipe, weld it back together to create the full length. You'll never see that with our trailer. Same way with the top rails. They're a two and seven eighths outside diameter, true schedule 40 pipe, which is basically a three sixteenths to quarter inch wall right in between there. Our support arms are made out of two by two, three sixteenths wall square tubing. As you come down to where you dump the trailer, our latch is a little bit unique. We'll kind of show you how it works. You release the pin, pull your handle out, and as you're pulling your handle out, it's a double positive latching system. Those latches are coming out from underneath the cradle as you're opening it up. Therefore, you don't have to sit there and bump a spring-loaded latch. A gentle lift is all it takes. Momentum takes over. We also put spring assist. That spring will compress completely inside that tube when the bales come over and roll off. The reason we did that was for shorter people, smaller people that couldn't pull the handle back down. The handle used to be way up higher before we done that. Now anybody can pull it down, even a 12 year old kid. Another thing we do that a lot of other places don't, we use 7,000 pound axles and standard brakes on both axles. We also make it standard to use 14 ply tires, not tens. They're an all steel tire, they're extremely heavy. My dealers love them, they're extremely durable. We take pride in painting our trailers also. Our trailers are primed before they're painted. A lot of other places only put a cheap coat of paint on. We use all LED lights. The wiring is all in a conduit, as you can see, so that the hay doesn't drag it off. If you have any questions or you want to see another video, just go to bradsweldingshop.com. Click on the Hayliner trailers, and we have two or three videos of trailers actually in use.